All right. Uh, with that, good evening. Thanks for uh, joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Doug Warner. We'll get you caught up on the rest of the day's news in just a moment. Uh, let's uh, The big headliner, of course, this week, the LPGA stop in Rogers, Arkansas, and that's where my co-anchor, Sonia Hill, is this evening. Uh, the first of what will be a couple of days of full coverage, again, from the golf course. Uh, Sonia, good to see you, and uh, what a great day it was today. Absolutely, Doug. So Dan hit the nail right on the head. It is a beautiful day out here at the Pinnacle Country Club. We are here live for the Walmart Northwest Arkansas Championship presented by PNG at the Pinnacle Country Club here in Rogers. But I am not alone today. I am joined by our very own Gabriella Phelan. So Gabby, today is the first day of the official pro and my first day here, but you were actually here uh, covering the event yesterday as well. Yeah, I was here yesterday and there wasn't a lot of fans out even though it was the first day for fans to be here on the course and to watch their favorite players tee off at the driving range or on the putting green. But today on the second day of practice rounds, it picked up a little bit and things were a little bit more lively as some events started to take place. Right. Speaking of the events, it's not just golf happening out here. There are a lot of events associated with this tournament. For example, the Serve to Perform Latina Empowerment Panel is just getting wrapped up on the 18th hole. And then tomorrow we we have the Fosse's Friends Junior Clinic where kids are going to be, you know, learning some golf skills here tomorrow yes, from Maria Fosse, which very is one family friendly place. But then Friday is the big day. That is the first official day of the tournament and also an event I'm very excited for, Gabby. The first day of the Buy NWA event. If you guys haven't heard about it, there's going to be events from all of our, our restaurants, rather, from all over the region here, sampling some of what they have to offer. So yes. very exciting stuff here. Yes. Um, uh, but if you guys are coming out for golf, it is worth mentioning the Chalk Talk Club. If you guys want to watch the tournament in style, just a reminder, the Chalk Talk Club on the 18th hole is back again for another year. Those attending, they got to take part in some food, music, games, and more. By the way, Chalk Talk Casino, it says it aims to bring some of the casino to the event by having various games and Chalk Talk special drinks. For more information on how to buy a ticket, you can head to our website, knwa.com. But Gabby, Abby, I have to mention I learned something really cool today. I learned that some former Lady Razorbacks yeah. are actually uh, competing in the LPGA Tour. And you actually caught up with one of those ladies today. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's right. I talked with Gabby Lopez today who used to play golf at the University of Arkansas. She earned her tour card for the LPGA in 2015, becoming only the second Razorback women's golfer to earn her card under head coach Shauna Estes. During the conversation today, Lopez told us coming back to Northwest Arkansas is something she looks forward to all year long. And when she walks up to the 17th hole, she's greeted by fans calling the hogs all for her. The community, they love, doesn't matter your nationality, doesn't matter where you're from, they just love the Razorbacks and the hog community. And it makes you feel part of something bigger than yourself. And I think that makes, that makes you very, very proud to keep on having that red shirt and calling the hogs every, every year um, with all your heart. Lopez says she's looking forward to watching some other former hogs play this week, but she also plans to stop in and see her host family as well as pay a visit to the Razorback women's golfers. And tonight at 6, we'll catch up again with Gabby and see how she thinks that this week at the tournament is going to play out. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye for her on her during the tournament. So what a cool experience, kind of a homecoming of sorts for her. Yes, for sure. You know, she is a Mexican golfer. And so Arkansas is not her home, but she says it's nice to come back and see everyone again. I'm sure it's somewhat of a second home to her. Yes, for sure. <laughs> All righty, Gabby, thank you so much for that. Well, guys, that's our time for now. But of course, we're going to have much more from the tour at 6. Doug, let's go ahead and send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you both. Uh, of course, we'll head back out.